Hello, thank you for joining me. I'd like to take a couple of minutes to demonstrate um, the few steps that are required to get set up and running with the Go Dev development environment for the Go language. Here I have a standard Ubuntu Linux system, but the same should apply for Windows or Mac OS X. So I've downloaded only the Go SDK. Uh, no other special tools are required at this point. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up a Go path directory to do my development work. So I created the directory. I'm going to set my Go path environment variable to point to this directory. And I'm going to update my system path to include the bin directory underneath. This is fairly standard Go setup. Okay, um, now I'm going to go get the GoDev tool. Okay, now I can launch the GoDev tool directly. And it provides me a URL, a local URL that I can use to open up in my web, web browser. So here is the main GoDev page. From here, I can see um, that there already are a couple of folders in my GoPath. Um, that is because I already go did a go get from the GoDev packages and its dependencies. So from here, I can create a new simple go project and I'm going to create a hello world go file can open up in the in the editor here and just fill in simple template I'm just going to put it in package main and I'm going to import the FMT package so I can print hello world so I've got some simple uh, cont uh, <coughs> code highlighting going on here. So I'm going to do fmt dot and invoke the content assist. By the way, I've been invoking the content assist with the control space key sequence. You can see here that I've got some simple constructs. Um, I can go get this tool here to get more assistance. So let's do that. So go get that extra library. Okay, so now when I invoke the content assist, I can see all of the functions that are available in the FMT package. In my case, I'm just going to invoke printf. So I'm just going to put in my string here. I don't need any other argument here, so I'm just going to delete that. And I'll save it. <clears throat> okay, now that I have this module, I can uh, launch it very easily using the debug section. Pick uh, hello out of the list, and I can execute it. And it prints hello world. <clears throat> Um, if I want to debug it and set breakpoints, etc., I can uh, click the debug button instead. Um, as you can see here, um, the debug uh, support is provided by a different package, and you can go get this thing, and uh, you can invoke a debug session. And that's it. Um, thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoy GoDev. Thank you.